What's up y'all and welcome back to my channel. Salut à tous et bienvenue sur ma chaîne. So in today's video, I'm gonna do like an open letter, open video to my 18, 19 year old pre-college self. Um, there's been a lot on my mind about regretting a lot of my college experience as well as things I wish I would have known, things I wish I would have changed. Um, so certain thoughts of should I even have went to college? Did I get the college experience that I wanted? What could I have done differently? And all of those things. This could potentially be a very unpopular opinion. And by no means is this an advice video. This is just an open vo video forum journal out loud. It's not intended to help somebody, but it's just intended to share my story with others. So the first thing that I would tell myself this is kind of even before I even applied to college. Don't take anybody's advice. Do what you want to do. Don't listen to your mama, your daddy, your granny. Don't listen to nobody. Just go to college, experience what you're going to experience with an open mind and with an intention and be open and ready to receive. I feel like there are a lot of social pressures that people put on their kids in high school from parents teachers and others that college is the only way and i am a big advocate for education but i don't think that it is the is the only way especially based on my experience i personally went to college i got my degree in business marketing and this was in 2015 i went to a really 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 small cal state i went to cal state dominguez hills um and i to be honest did not learn pretty much anything except for my last year and my last semester which actually changed my whole life and is the reason that i believe that i went to college i definitely went for a divine reason um in which i'm very grateful for but i don't think that it's the only way so yeah don't take nobody's advice not even mine Thing number two that I would tell myself is do not pick a major based on money. In my case, speaking only on my case in this video, once again, only speaking in my case, I definitely should have picked a major that I would have developed a skill rather than knowledge. With me having a degree in business marketing, I absolutely learned pretty much nothing at this time in 2015 is when i graduated so 2014 13 and 12 all i learned was old age marketing billboards magazines newspapers things like that my teachers thought social media marketing was a complete joke most of them were old and completely out of the loop into the trends and marketing strategies that are used in today's um in today's generation a lot of people didn't understand social media marketing um, when I had my own ideas of starting businesses and using social media to market my products all my teachers kind of looked at me like yeah girl mm -hmm. we'll see how far that gets you so obviously if you want to be like a doctor or a nurse or a dentist or have some type of specific career then obviously you're gonna have to pick a major that is cohesive with that so for me i knew that when i went to college that i wanted to be my own boss i wanted to have my own business i wanted to be in the entrepreneurship realm um i also had like a small pocket of time where i wanted to work into uh, where i wanted to work in entertainment marketing completely behind the scenes and then i ended up right in front of a camera so things definitely change and sometimes they're not planned or most times in my case they were not planned so in my experience just kind of telling you guys like a brief story um on my post-college reality um so i had all these business ideas my teacher from my last semester in my very last year actually said no books no tests no nothing start a business come to me every week and show me how that business progressed. That teacher changed my life because I ended up actually turning that business into thefindguru.com in which where I sold um, 
different products and used affiliate links and started a YouTube channel and had a clothing line and basically had like a one-stop shop where you could find anything that I shared on my social media platforms. And it was very successful um, because of that teacher. That teacher definitely helped me so much in, and that is why I am grateful for my college experience. But in my degree, which was business marketing, I did not learn anything that could actually elevate my business. For me, I think business marketing is basically common sense, especially if you are passionate about the product. So if you're a consumer or passionate about the product in which I was, it was basically based off of fashion, hair, and fitness. And <sighs> Okay, so my camera memory card was full, so I definitely got it cut off. Um, by getting my degree in business marketing from people who used old age marketing and for people who were not open to any type of newness, I personally felt like I wasted my major on something that really didn't teach me anything to elevate my business. Now, if I would have gone back, I would have picked a major that would have given me skills to actually make the moving parts in my business work and active. I would have picked a major like graphic design, um, videography or photography or something like that because when I graduated and I had all these bright ideas and I had all these marketing tactics and ideas I had no way to execute them so you could have all the ideas in the world but if you don't know how to execute them yourself and you ain't got the funds to pay people to do it you're really going nowhere with your money and in my college experience it wasn't really supported to start a business fresh out of college formula was kind of like you go to college you get an internship which can be paid or unpaid um, you work at that hopefully you get hired and then after that you apply for jobs you build your way up you work there for a few years and then you start your business I wasn't trying to hear that I wasn't trying to have that I was trying to start my business and be my own boss and a lot of the teachers weren't really understanding the power of the current marketing that we had. So with that being said, they weren't able to teach and guide me um, to do the things that I'm doing now and the things that I had questions about back then. With all that hustle that I had and all those dreams that I had, um, I really couldn't go anywhere because I didn't have the funds to pay people to create my website. I didn't have the funds for photographers to take my pictures for my website. I didn't have the funds to know how to Photoshop graphics for a website or to do a ghost mannequin on product photos or how to even take product photos. What's the proper lighting? How do you do video content or any of that? So when I graduated, I basically re-enrolled myself into school on the things that I needed to actually start a business and have it going for myself. Because if you don't have the money to pay people, you need to pay them through your skills or your time. So going back, because I was super long winded, if I had the opportunity to go back, I would not pick a major based off of what was general or what made money. I would pick a major based off of skills that I need to make that dream actually elevate and, and work without other moving parts and other people, especially when you're just starting out. Tip number three that I wish I would have learned earlier in college. Once again, the teacher that changed my whole college experience and is the reason why I started my business so early, he actually shared with us that as college students, as business students, that we got a lot of software for free. So for example, Adobe Creative Cloud. Adobe Creative Cloud is something where People can edit YouTube videos, people can do Photoshop, which in my in my case, I was using Photoshop to create product photos for my website. Um, you can do Illustrator, which allows you to make your logos, which allows you to make hang tags and things like that. You get all of that for free when you are a student. I had no idea what Creative Cloud was. I had no idea how to use Adobe, but in his class when we had to start a business, those are things that we needed to use. So we were able to use them. And for me, not having any experience with graphic design or anything like that, I was able to ask him hands on for help for those things. So his strategy in teaching us how to start a business and making us start a business in class was great because if we had any questions, we could just ask him directly. No other teacher in my other three and a half 
four years of my college experience gave me those tools to use free softwares. Like I had no idea that students had access to free software. I didn't even know what that software did. I didn't know how it was useful or anything like that. I don't want to sound like I am blaming the teachers for not informing me of this because of course I had to do my own footwork and I could have been um, a little bit more inquisitive in, in trying to find out ways that I can get more out of my college experience but honestly I just didn't know what was available to me and I didn't know that those were things that I needed in order for me to even ask for those type of resources if I'm making any sense. Another free software that was free, free, free for all of the students at the school was a software or a website called lynda.com. lynda.com, y'all, is the plug. It's like YouTube for business, I would say. So say, for example, you want to start a website and you don't know how to do that. You can literally type in how to start a website, how to create a website, what's the best website for e-com, what's the best website for blogging, things like that. And it'll be a person who teaches you step by step how to do so in a very professional, easy to follow along manner. I would be super excited to work on my, my business. I would set up my website and then I would have a question on like how to upload pictures with a ghost mannequin. You can literally go on lynda.com and type in how to take product photos in a ghost mannequin and it will pop up and it will teach you how to use that and then it also uses a lot of adobe creative cloud which is photoshop illustrator premiere pro and all of those things so that teacher literally gave us the tools to start the business have his help and have a software that was able or lynda.com which is like a tutorial website that basically teaches you how to do things when your teacher isn't there those things after i got lynda.com i swear i looked up so many different things to do and it just sparked so many different ideas in my head because i didn't realize how easy and tangible these things were this is something that i really wish i would have had earlier on because i'm sure i would have had even more ideas and had i had this software um from jump i would have had more time to explore and ask more questions for the teachers and get more help because after that semester, I graduated, and then from there, the software isn't free anymore. Adobe Creative Cloud ain't free no more. You don't have the luxury of not really understanding what you see in a video and just going, and going to school next week and asking your teacher how to do it. Those two things, though, really changed the game for me, and those are things that I wish I would have had earlier because it really helped me start my business, and it really helped my college experience. And the last and final thing that I wish I would have enjoyed <laughs> much earlier, even in high school, even before college, is listening to audiobooks, reading books, watching interviews, watching documentaries, just immersing myself into people who I aspire to be like. This was also advice from the same exact teacher, once again, is... He basically said that if you don't want to start a business yourself, you basically have to dissect someone else's business. So you can pick any entrepreneur that you want. So say, for example, Richard Branson. So the teacher gave you options. So if you're not passionate in starting your own business, you basically have to dissect somebody else's business. Now, this is the te this teacher was smart because it was basically like, OK, I'm going to help you start a business or I'm going to force you to start a business by looking at somebody else's business at least this is the way i interpreted it so say i was like okay i'm not gonna start my own business i'm gonna just do my research on somebody that has a business say for example i take richard branson in the class we basically had to listen to any audiobooks on richard branson any documentaries any um any interviews just anything about the entrepreneur by doing that i learned that he's failed a hundred times that he's lost a lot of money that people didn't believe in him that he was dyslexic that he had adhd and all of these things and you're looking at this person like damn or dang he's a he's a ceo of a company and he's amongst other billionaires and he started out like this so it was kind of a back way for the teacher to make you comfortable with your lack of confidence in your ideas in starting a business and just being able to identify with a lot of these entrepreneurs and realize that you can actually do it too. 
And by doing that, you kind of put yourself in like this digital mentorship with this person by kind of knowing everything that they've done, listening to their stories and listening to their advice. And you kind of also put yourself in a digital environment where you just feel more confident amongst other entrepreneurs and your classmates and just knowing that other people's stories started at ground zero just like yours had. And with that being said, because I feel like this content is super, super parallel with my longtime partner, Audible, that right now for a limited time, you can get three months of Audible just for $6.95 a month. That's more than half off the regular price. Choose one audiobook and choose two Audible originals absolutely free by visiting www.audible.com slash findguru. And if you're in the U.S., you can text findguru to 500-500. Audible has loads of genres, but you know your girl likes the self-help, documentary, entrepreneurship, biography type of content. So so I think that would be great, especially for those people who are procrastinators, is the effective executive. There are also on Richard Branson that you can look up, Oprah, um, you have Mel Robbins, which I've mentioned in other videos, but there's so many to choose from, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some of my favorites down below. Audible also has Audible Originals, which are exclusive audio titles created by celebrated storytellers in worlds as diverse as journalism, theater, literature, and more. And Audible is a perfect gift if you wanted to give it to yourself or to a friend. What better gift can you give somebody than knowledge? Teach, teach your people how to fish, okay? Don't give people fishes. Teach your people how to fish. With all that being said, those are a few things that I wish I would have knew before I went to college. As I mentioned, this was kind of like a video diary for me on my college experience and what I wish I would have had, things I wish I would have known a little bit earlier. And that's basically it for this video. If you guys have any more questions, please put them down below. And don't forget, if you guys are interested in trying Audible out, for a limited time, you can get three months of Audible just for $6.95 a month. That's more than half off the regular price. Choose one audiobook and two Audible originals absolutely free by visiting www.audible.com slash findguru. Or if you're in the U.S., you can text findguru to 500-500. Thank you guys so much for watching my video, and I will see you in the next upload. Bisous!